Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This reading is for the water sign of Scorpio and it's a, a quick little, I guess, answer a question reading. <laughs> we want to know how this situation that you're going through or maybe you need a heads up about, maybe you're not aware of it yet, but something that you need to know how it's going to come out. Is it going to work out for your best interest, your best good? Is it something you can work with? Ignore? How is this how is this situation going for you so as i give a shuffle i'm thanking the cards in advance for their advice and their guidance and i'm just receiving insight and answers for you and using my intuition to do that and we just believe that the universe is always out to do us good so relax and enjoy the reading thank you so much <laughs> and we're going to give you answers that you need right now okay and whoop, these cards are kind of thick messages for scorpio what does scorpio need to know about this situation that they're going through messages for scorpio okay we will give a cut and we'll see what we have for scorpio first card is the three of swords and it's in reverse Alrighty, and then we have the ace of swords I don't have a lot of room here, do I? And it's in reverse too, as well. We have the Five of Coins or the Five of Pentacles. It's in reverse. The High Priestess, the Major Arcana, and she is upright. That's good. <laughs> and then we have the Devil. He is a Major Arcana, and he is upright as well. So let's see what this says for you. I'm going to take a moment or two to gather my, my little thoughts and my get my intuition and overdrive here and let's see what we have for you let me get my little wand okay the high priestess and the devil are both major arcana so you're getting um it looks like you're seeing this person for what they are if you can see you're looking th to your future and you don't see any honesty here any integrity any clarity uh, communication is bad and you're seeing this person for what they really are which is a uh, deceitful selfish person who probably likes to lie a lot and they're they're selfish in the relationship as you can see right here uh, but I feel like with the uh, three of swords in reverse that you are coming out of a very emotional relationship you've been disappointed you wanted it to go well and work out but the lack of communication, clarity, and honesty, as I said, words hurt. Their words hurt as well. Uh, there's not much truth in this uh, relationship. There's not much communication. And what communication there are, what it looks like with this five of coins, that it's left you feeling left out. It's left you feeling neglected, not respected, and you're feeling vulnerable. Uh, or listen to it, it's like no more your feelings and it's just not that important to them but you're slowly recovering because if this is this is in reverse so that's telling us you are coming out of that mindset and you're getting your power back you're getting your strength back as we can see right here like I said you see this person who they truly are now you're saying aha <laughs> you're having an aha moment look at your little self ain't she beautiful um and you're saying to yourself, probably, I thought so. So you're, you know, you're, you're too good for them. That's what you're realizing. You've gone from this place to this place with that aha moment that you're just too good for this kind of situation, for this person. And so you're just telling them to go on and get, <laughs> you know, go on with yourself. Um, I feel like you're... Um, You've been awful quiet, but I think you've got some things to say to this person. You're going to say it now, okay? Um, your solar plexus, these oranges, is all telling you of that, uh, telling me that you have a lot of strength and determination to save yourself, and you're not going to take any more BS from this person. So I feel like this relationship's going nowhere, uh, and you don't want it to because it's just going to lead to a more disappointment, more heartbreak. Um, more feeling like crap because they're never going to change. I mean, not with you anyway. You know, sometimes people change when they get with the right person. 
And, and I've heard that. I've had that said to me even. Well, they're not the same person with you as they were me. <laughs> well, you know, you got to be on the same page. You got to be able to communicate. You People change with whom they're with, as I feel like. You know, as it, if it works out good, then you're going to be able to communicate and get along. This is just not going to happen because this person is not... Um, who you need to be with. And I feel like they could be a Taurus. They could also be a Libra. Uh, not Libra, Leo. I'm sorry. Or an Aquarius, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this, one of these for you. It may pertain to this reading or it may add to this reading or it may just address a whole other issue or it may just be some encouragement for you. So we're going to go ahead and give a cut. Let's see what card we get. I'm sorry, that's so loud. <laughs> um, it's stuck together now. Well, yeah, okay. This is the first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. Oh my God, I drew this card earlier for myself. I draw a card from this deck for myself every morning and I write it down in a journal that <laughs> this is the card I got. Release control and I absolutely do have a situation that we're going through that I'm going to have to just release the control of it and just rest in it and just be uh, comfortable knowing things are going to work out for my best good because there's nothing I can't be, do, or have that I choose. All things lead to my success, happiness, and wealth and um, the universe is always out to do me good. <laughs> You knew too, okay? So release any need to control this situation. Just let it play out. It will, I promise you. Take it to the bank, okay? And thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you so much. And until the next video, bye-bye.